Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. If you've been following my videos, you would know that I am going to get a fresh install of Windows 11 on a new SSD that I have bought. Okay, so this is a new SSD, a one terabyte crucial SSD. And uh, right now I only have a, you'll see it, I only have a 250 gigabyte SSD and it's running out of space. I'm wanting to install Lost Ark. So I'm now going to upgrade to this crucial BX500 SSD and in order to do that what I'm going to do is I am going to install Windows on this new SSD and I'm going to take off my computer my C drive so I've already backed everything up okay and backing up includes going through your documents your desktop your program files all of that I've made sure that what I need is in my eight terabyte hard drive. So now I'm going to take off my C drive. I'm actually going to take off my D drive as well, which is also not a SSD, just a hard drive. So it's all going away. But how you would get a fresh install of Windows 11 on a new SSD is you need to go to Google. Okay, open up Google and you're just going to Google download Windows 11 boot USB. Press that, press enter, and then go to the first link at the top. And you can see that is the link to the website in case you can't find it. There are four versions of Windows here. Obviously, uh, forget all these three, they're old Windows 11. And then you can see here, if you scroll down, it says you can create Windows 11 installation media. And that is the one we want, okay? Not installation assistant, not disk image, just installation media. And before you click download now, make sure you have a USB, a spare USB. Now this one, it's a eight. Uh, you need at least eight gigabyte. I've got a 12 gigabyte. So I'm gonna put this on my computer. So the USB is now plugged into my computer. As you can see, it's G drive and it's blank. So now I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to click on download now and it's going to download the program media creation tool. So now I'm going to run the program. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. So now this program will take you through everything you need to uh, install the operating system onto your USB. So just click accept here, getting a few things ready. Let's just wait for it. Okay, select language and edition. Make sure you select where, whatever language you want, whatever edition you want. Untick this if you wanna manually change the options, but I'm just gonna click that next. Okay, here's very important. Make sure you choose USB flash drive and it tells you you need eight gigabyte. Next, select and then click next. Okay, now it says downloading Windows 11. Now this is gonna take a long time so I'm just gonna leave my computer and I'll come back when it asks me to do something. Okay, so now it says your USB flash drive is ready, G drive. So let's click finish and let's go to, uh, uh, let's go to file explorer, G drive, and you can see all these boot files in it, boot EFI, all that. That's uh, basically the Windows 10 boot disk. So now we're ready. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my computer. I'm gonna take out all my hard drives and this one will be the only one plugged in. Okay, you will see that in a second. So this is the inside of my computer. I know that you guys have complained about my uh, cable tying or cable management, but I've had the computer for, I'd say about, you know, seven or eight years and it's always been like this. So 
uh, the recently the recent upgrade has lasted about three years already. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, I don't see a need for cable management right now. But here is my crucial one terabyte hard drive. So I'm now going to open this up. Crucial hard drive. Okay, here it is. A crucial hard drive and you can see it's a SATA hard drive so this is the part that I'm gonna replace uh, this is the part that I'm gonna plug in now the one that I'm going to take out and replace with this is this one okay so let's do that Let's take this out. Stuck on the other side. That's the other screw there. Okay, and I'm going to simply take that plug off. Take that plug off. Okay, and you can see that this is attached to this metal casing. So I'm pretty glad that I have that still because this didn't come with that. Crucial didn't come with that. Okay, so I have a metal bracket. So now I'm going to take the screws off. That means I can take this out. This uh, 256, 250 gig SSD is now gonna be replaced with this one. A 1000 terabyte SSD. Okay. Okay, so now this is going to face the outside like that. So I'm going to just put it in like this. So now it doesn't move around now. You're going to now replace the SATA cables, put it in. And this electricity cable, put that in. So the red is the data and this is the power. Data, power. Now my original idea was to remove all these other connections because I only wanted to focus on this one while it's reinstalling Windows, but I'm just going to leave my, this is a eight terabyte hard drive. This is a one terabyte hard drive. That's a one terabyte SSD. I don't need my one terabyte hard drive anymore. So I'm going to now remove that. All right. So let's see how it goes. So guys, I'm about to turn on my computer, but just before I turn it on, remember that you have to plug in your installation USB onto your computer. So I'm now going to plug that in. Start my computer. Okay, that is super small. That is super small. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see it. So language to install, English, United States, time and currency, English, United States, keyboard, US. Now I'm just gonna change that slightly because we are in Australia. Uh, language has to stay as United States, keyboard, uh, US, Next, install now. Uh, okay, so this is very important, right? Because my Windows, I do not have a product key. 
All right, I don't even know what it is. So basically I update it from Windows 8 to Windows 10 to Windows 11. No idea what the key is, so I don't have a product key. Um, or you could just go next. I don't have a product key, I have to click that. Okay, Windows Setup. Um, so the operating system you want to install. Uh, I don't know which one I have actually. So that's probably something I got to find out. Just see what happens if I get pro. I accept. Next. Uh, install Windows only. Okay, this is the important part. This is the important part because what you want to do is you want to make sure that firstly you don't touch whatever hard drive that has all your data. So eight terabyte, this one, I don't want to touch it. I want to install Windows on my brand new hard drive. Okay, over here, unallocated space. So what you're going to do is click on the one with unallocated space, click on new, now make sure the size of your allocated space is the maximum possible. So I can't go up any higher. Click apply, click okay. Okay, and now it's allocated some space for me to install it on. Okay, 931 gigabytes. So I can simply click next here to install it. Now, just by chance, something goes wrong and you can't install it. Maybe there is already a partition and you can't install it. It gives you some sort of error. It happened to me. You can always delete these partitions. So I can delete it. I can delete these partitions and then create it again from the unallocated space. So I'm gonna create it again, go to new, maximum, Apply. Okay, so now I have partition three, 931.4 gigabytes. Click next. And now it's installing. All right, I'm gonna just let it install now. Okay, so look how quickly that went. Not even five minutes. Is this the right country, Australia? Is the right keyboard US? I want to add a second, uh, not right now. Connect to a network. Making sure you have the latest. Thank you, Microsoft. Very uh, thoughtful. Let's name your device. Capital D. Okay, how would you like to set up this device? Personal, add my Microsoft account, very important. Okay, I have to use the same one for it to pick up my license. Create a pin. Okay, now, fill laptop, restore. That's not my computer, that's another laptop. It thinks that I'm an, it thinks that I'm on my brother's laptop, which is annoying. Restore from another device. Uh, there it is. There's my computer there. There's my computer there. Let's see what happens when I do that. Choose privacy settings. Entertainment, gaming, school, creativity, business, family, accept. Back up your files with OneDrive. Next, uh, no, nah, we don't want the we don't want the free trial. I already have two hundred gigabytes from a deal ages ago. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I got my um, Samsung G Seven tablet, they gave me a deal where it was lifetime two hundred gigabytes. So that is brilliant. Thanks, Microsoft.
Okay, there it is, installed. All right, Windows 11 is now on my computer. Okay, it's got even got my OneNote from before. Okay, so let's check my Wit File Explorer. I'm going to make the text a bit bigger so you can see it. Display, I'm going to make it 150 so you can read it a bit better. All right, but there is a fresh install of my computer under this PC. I've got my C drive, which is my new SSD. Now, if you go to program files, it doesn't install everything you had before. So if you thought reins, if you thought restore meant that it's going to install office and all that for you. No, it doesn't. It's just a clean install with nothing in it. It, however, does remember the files you opened before. Okay, so you can see here, when I click the start button, it says that I've opened up my OneNote and Excel and all that. But if I actually try to open up Excel, it's going to go to Excel online because it doesn't have Office. Right, I've removed the hard drive that had Office installed. So um, you don't have to worry about that. So let's just check that my Windows is currently um, verified. Let's go to settings, about, product key and activation, active, activation state active. All right, all done. Thanks guys, see you next time. See you next time.